fairly new, funded by the Children's Hospital Guild. Thrift shop and check it out inside and see if we find anything. So we found at this new thrift store, this Wilfred Free. It's an XXS, but can probably fit a medium because look how oversized that is. Very oversized, so yay to this. Okay guys, we're at Salvation Army. Of course we're on the hunt for more Wilfred, man. I got a bunch of you guys messaging me saying on Instagram saying you want Wilfred, Wilfred, Wilfred. Well, not just Wilfred, but Aritzia pieces. <coughs> so hopefully we find some here because that's what we're on the hunt for. Tomorrow, don't forget that. Considering getting this Tommy size large, seven bucks, 100% cotton. Christmas coming up, Tommy logo on the front. I don't know. I haven't really had much luck with Tommy, so I guess I'll pass on it. It's 50% off tomorrow, though. Keep looking. Haven't found anything yet. My allergies have been, like, super, super bad at the thrift store lately. Like, literally, I've been, like, my nose has been itchy and runny every time. Because when I'm doing this with the racks, like, literally, all the dust is flying into my face. And then my... I get so, like... So if you ever hear me go like that all the time, it's because my allergies are acting up and I'm trying to clear my nose. But I don't want to wear a face mask here like a big <laughs> face mask wearer. Uh, ooh, J. Crew, seven bucks and it's XL. Um, yeah, this is a good color too. I like that actually. I like the little detail like that too. There's this Pendleton, which is 100% lamb's wool. 20 bucks though, seems a little bit expensive. Medium, which is like a women's large, maybe. It's actually a really nice color. 20 bucks. These are hella expensive though. Who's doing that? I don't know. Hmm, never mind. Okay guys, we're looking at the bags. Very slim odds to find anything at, in this location for bags, unless it's like a really obscure brand that they don't know. But good luck finding any coach or MK or anything like that here. It would be behind the case over there. Pretty sure if Rebecca Minkoff was here, they'd put it here. Pretty sure they don't know what Rebecca Minkoff is. Bachi. <sighs> El Nanda. It's behind the counter here. Hmm, they have this cake speed. I wonder how much that one is. Tomorrow, this would be 50% on this. You know, it's real with that. I like the white. It's a nice match. I like it. <laughs> I'm debating if I just want to get it now. <laughs> I'm just showing some pictures to a friend. You always look for a cumber bun. Pardon? You always look for a cumber bun on them? Oh, yeah, yeah. I bought one. Years long time ago, down, no comfort, yes, and the wind blew right to the back. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Must have not felt pleasant. 
So it won't have going to the thrift store. That one. <laughs> Okay guys, so we just came from Salvation Army and we saw that really cute cat and goose jacket. I don't know, it's a toss up. Like half of you are saying that it's fake, half of you are saying that it's real. Like, do any of you even own one? <laughs> no, but seriously, I actually bought one for my sister for Christmas like a few years back. Uh, so I do, I've felt and seen a real one because I mean, I've I dealt, I, I handled her jacket. I've even tried it on when she opened it because I wanted to see if, if it fit me. So she got an extra large women's but this so this was a large men's and i don't know everything seems spot on except for the fur the fur on the hood should be like literally fluffy like thumper from bambi fluffy so i don't know so i don't know if it's real or not it, it's it's hard to tell but they wanted 300 dollars for it and then he's like, you know, tomorrow morning it's 150 because it's 50% off. And I'm like, okay. So if I line up here early, I run to the counter and stand there and point at it. That means it's mine, right? Right? And he's like, yes, yes. And people were like laughing at me in the store. And I'm like, okay, okay. okay I'm going to line up early. I'm going to camp my fat ass out here for that jacket. I mean, $150 for a can of goose jacket. Hello. That's an expedition parka literally a thousand dollars plus tax and here no tax so here's the plan of attack for today okay i'm gonna go back to that salvation army and make sure that it's still there okay is this person like literally going no okay move bitches okay okay so my plan of attack is to go there like literally five minutes before they close make sure it's still there because i don't want to i don't want to i don't want to freaking camp outside there at literally two hours before they open and then fucking it's not there i'll be freaking pissed like i will i will burn the building down if that happened i would be so pissed so the plan of attack is go back there stay there till about they, till closing time so i'll go five minutes before they close stay there make sure it's there while they're closing till they kick everybody out i'm gonna you know wait there make sure it's freaking there and then when they close up i know for sure that's there then we're gonna go camp out there they open at nine so i'm no they open at eight so i'm gonna be there at freaking seven seven o'clock is when we're going to line up there and i swear to god if someone's there i'm gonna oh god maybe i better go earlier like 6 30. Yeah, i'll go 6 30. Nobody will be there at 6.30 yet. For sure. And if someone is crazy enough to go there at 6.30, they deserve that jacket. Because I'm going to go there at 6.30. Yeah, we'll go there at 6.30. And, yeah. Okay, the first plan is hopefully it's there. So, we're going to go back and see if it's there at like 8.55 p.m. Because they close at 9. So, that's the first plan of attack. Okay, guys. We are here at Salvation Army. It's 8.40. We're just going to check and make sure that the... Catagoose jacket is still here because I don't want to come here and wait for like literally two hours in line if this it's not here. That's going to be a waste of time. I'll be pissed beyond. So let's go. Well, we did not find my Wilfred scarf unless I fell outside, but the Catagoose jacket is still there. So we are going to be right over there, right there. tomorrow i'm gonna bring my camping chair we're gonna camp right over there <laughs> we're gonna get the motherfucking jacket okay hello 150 dollars for a thousand dollar jacket i mean hello it's common sense and if it turns out to be fake because i'm gonna actually bring it to the can of goose or do something to authenticate it if it turns out to be fake i'm returning that bitch here and if they don't accept it we're, there's gonna be there's gonna be a wrath a wrath of miss philly <laughs> it's gonna happen I'm so sad. Can you believe I'm like sad over a freaking six dollar scarf? <laughs> I thrifted. It still bothers me though. Whatever. Okay, guys, thank you for joining me today. I appreciate it. Remember to remain positive, productive, and progressive. And I'm, I'll vlog. I'm gonna vlog tomorrow. I'll, see how cold it is? It's cold. Um, even though I'm just wearing this. Anyway, we're gonna vlog. Hopefully, I get the jacket tomorrow. Hope I don't have to cut a bitch in line, but we'll see. Bye. 
Nine hours later. Leave. <laughs> so mean. Looking at me like, he probably was waiting for the caddy goose jacket and he sees me and I'm here and he knows I'm gonna get it. Like why else would I be here? Like why are you over there? Why, 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 why are you sneaking over there, huh? It's freaking cold as hell. It's probably like 20 degrees Fahrenheit, like minus three degrees Celsius. It's a little cold, but whatever. Sorry if this camera's shaking, but I swear, <laughs> Canada Goose Jacket, it will be mine. 